Welcome to The Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Engineer's Life 2, part 2 or 3, depending upon which episodes you guys ended up viewing on the channel. Anyway, uh, yeah, the sun's setting in this this place, but uh, that doesn't matter, because I still am interested in finding some of those like little bandit dudes, stealing one of their swords, and uh, maybe using one of that, because I think that they come with sharpness on them. But um, I still feel a little underprepared for it. So I'm kind of thinking, I just I just stripped that log. Yep, that's a thing. I was kind of thinking that I would make myself uh, a few of those javelins instead of just the one, uh, and then I could sleep the night away still. But this way, this will allow me to stay at range <laughs> instead of being up close and personal um, with these guys because they hurt when they hit with those sharpness swords, and I, I really don't have any armor yet, and I still need to uh, loot the rest of the town. And I just converted this to uh, the wrong thing before I ended up making my shovels. So first I'm going to make, let's do three shovels. That'll give me four javelins. Uh, and no, they don't auto-equip, so I will actually have to, uh, you know, like switch to each of these in order to make them work. And probably by the time I'm done with this, uh, these guys will have started spawning outside in the uh, the sandy wastelands. So let me turn this. Oops, I'm going to need more materials. I just realized I need the sticks and I'm going to need the stones. Uh, I'm going to just do one of these ones here. I'm going to change the flimsy handle. No, stone shovel into a spearhead. And we're just using one stone crafted up. Handle's going to be a light handle and that's going to be a stick. So one stick, one stone, converts the shovel into a stone javelin each. And I'll be doing that with the other two as well. There we go. So I've got four stone javelins that I can throw. Each one will do about three points of damage. Um, I don't think that I get critical hits on there. Uh, as you can tell, I planted a few trees here. <laughs> kind of grew up quite big. Uh, and I don't see much for mobs on the mini-map. Uh, speaking of, let's actually change this by pressing Y. You can open up the Zero's minimap settings, and then you can change the position. For some reason, when I put it up here, it says no. I think it's because uh, it's trying to default to, like, vanilla Minecraft uh, toasts being in that spot. So I just drag it, like, a few pixels to the left, and that should fix it. Oh, that's much better. Now it's up and out of the way. Also, I found that if you don't like all the numbers on the screen, you can press Alt, and uh, they, they disappear. Press Alt, and they come back again. So if you guys want to see those numbers or not, you know, please let me know in the, the comments below. I see that there's a zombie getting <laughs> owned over there. But uh, I would like to know if you want to see those on the screen. I know some people find it entertaining to see the numbers going up as I'm progressing with stuff. And you can see in the area that I'm at right now, I've got a, a farming negative of 15% and an excavation positive of 10%. Now if I bring this up, I, I, I looked into this real quick. Um, not, not this one, it's the stats. You scroll down here and it tells you that it's biome XP bonuses that's happening. So this is because I'm in a desert. This isn't, a, you won't get plus to minuses in every biome, but some biomes like this one will definitely give you some kind of different effect for that. Now, while I'm in here and I'm waiting for uh, baddies to spawn that might be like some of those dudes, I figured we could make some other stuff like this here. Strangely, a flint hoe is actually like gating a bunch of stuff because I think in culinary engineering no no maybe maybe it was one of the other ones to boldly go i don't know it, it it's on multiple quest lines to make a flint hoe and i just heard it one of these guys being attacked i don't see any mobs you must have killed somebody didn't you yeah just a little murderer guard anyway <laughs> let's get going on some of these quests i've i've got some flint some sticks uh, a piece of string, a bit of plant string is even better uh, if I have that option. And I'm going to switch this up and we can make ourselves uh, some new stuff for these quests. All right, so I'm going to need two flint shards, two sticks, and plant string. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, two flint shards, two sticks, plant string makes a flint hoe. Yay! Feel the dreams complete. And I'm not going to check mark that because, again, it's an XP thing. I think I'll use the XP request, uh, rewards as I need them. There it is. It's it's an outstanding in a field. This is the farming one, which then unlocks all sorts of stuff like fishing, grapes, a calendar, uh, crop fertility, season sensor, industrial hemp seeds, basic farming stuff. Yes, yes, it is. 
following are your basic crops that will always be handy when you are hungry. The quest follows the initial crops. The quests following the initial crops give a basic recipe to help you help keep you fed. But look to JEI for more complex and fulfilling recipes. Okay, uh, so this is just telling you these are a lot of the basic foods, but you can use them to make other foods and then combine them to make like all sorts of meals, which I think is under culinary engineering. As you can see, there's a lot of like sandwiches and meals and just all sorts of crazy stuff out there. Uh, but if you like farming whatsoever, this pack is going to be very pleasing. <laughs> I'm, I'm often thinking of Callisto because she really likes to do farming in Minecraft. Um, but anyway, let's see. First steps. Continuing on, we've got other things here. I see a backpack. And I already have a backpack, but I don't know that I have the one that is listed in here. And strangely, it didn't come up right. Uh, let's see here. I have a rucksack on my back. And then there's an ender sack. Are these all part of the backpacker mod? Yeah, there's a backpack, a rucksack, a shulker pack, nether pack, and an ender sack. I have no idea what these are used for. But that That's a lot of leather and one iron ingot, which that's going to take me a bit to get to. So I don't think that I'll be able to do that today, but it does have a bunch of good rewards at least. You get money for it. This backpack will allow you to have some extra inventory space. Once equipped, use the backpack keybind to open the backpack inventory. Check your controls menu for the specific key, which I already have a rucksack, so I'm not too bothered with that. Um, a bed, though. I could probably get that from some of the villagers. And then Macaws Mods. Yep, that's in here, too. Oh, a furnace. That's simple enough. I could just do one of those real quick. And I wonder if this is going to let me smelt things like iron ore or something like that or if i need to use this for other stuff wait that's that's for cooking things i'm, I'm silly all right i can still use it to smelt rocks a few different food recipes i don't know let, let me actually take a look here Ore. there we go we can look up iron ore and the use for it a blast furnace yeah there's no furnace along here also used in crafting the mining dimension transport Ooh, mining dimension Interesting. All right. Well, we learned a little something new today. Uh, but let's continue on with some more other quests here since we did that one. Oh, definitely good stuff there. A clay tool. Uh, let's see, I, I guess I'd like to keep working along this main path here because uh, I'll be getting that shortly. And look, even ultimate sleeping arrangements. It, it's got... Do I have to make a purple sleeping bag to get that? That's interesting. That would mean I'd need purple dye. Uh, also, I want to get uh, a bee cage um, in, so that if I run into any bees, I can just nab them quick. I still don't see any baddies outside. I, I see some husks, but I don't see these uh, other guys that I was uh, anticipating running around out here. Hmm. I suppose I could at least try out some of these spears on these guys and see how it goes. And then I just end up running past these guys. Ow. Yeah, that, that was not the smartest thing. I probably would have done better without uh, hitting them at all. With a, no, don't eat food. <laughs> there we go. I feel like I'm playing Vintage Story right now because this is often how I end up playing as the hunter class. Throwing spears at my foes instead of... Uh, there we go. Instead of actually fighting them in melee combat, because I've got minuses in that. <laughs> anyway, um, I just throw them on the ground. I do have these. They're okay, but I don't know that they're really going to work too much. They might be good for taking out one enemy um, that I don't want to get hit by. Maybe a skeleton, but even then I might just rush up to the skeleton and fight it. I guess it's specifically for those guys that uh, might have the... the, uh, the the sharpness swords on them, which uh, I could have some problem with, but I think I'll be all right. All right, I think it's time that I end up going around town and uh, just kind of grabbing as much stuff as possible. Uh, I've got too much junk in my inventory as it is. Let's sort this, put these in here. I don't think I'm going to run into any of these guys while I'm out and about right now. Let's take this out, put all the tools in one chest. And then I can sort this, put the mob drops and stuff in here, put this in here. Since it's daytime, I won't need that. And I'm going to go and ravage the town for goodies.
Okay, there is something that I was not anticipating seeing. Um, yeah. That was interesting. That looked like one of Alex's bobs. Um, dropped some goodies. What did, what did it drop? Guster Eye. That can be used to make a gust maker. And pocket of sand. <laughs> nice. Whoa! Oh gosh, okay, wasn't expecting that. Ooh. <laughs> Those things are kind of cool. It's an interesting mechanic, though my inventory is pretty full from all the looting. Let's close this door for now. Oh, nice campfire to keep me company. So the stuff that I got, uh, I did get a bunch of food. I put it up here, mostly apples, raspberries, corn. Um, but uh, I also found buddy cards, which seems to be some kind of collectible stuff that's in here. I, I'm not really that familiar with it. Uh, I got a whole bunch of useful machines like furnaces, blast furnace, woodcutter, cartography table, and a grindstone. Uh, I got a beehive, some more seeds, five iron ingots, four emeralds, a guster eye, as you saw, and uh, some runes, stones, and even a piece of steel, which I think can only be used to make steel rods. So it's not, not really fantastic in its current state. But I will put on the metal pants, which now you notice my stats... Uh, on the side here have actually gone up. My combat has gone up a percent, my endurance a percent, and my smithing two and a half percent because I put on those magic iron pants. Actually, they're just regular pants, but uh, you get the idea. Um, and now I have so much inventory that I, I, I don't have space for it anymore. But not to worry because I'm pretty sure um, there's another village down here, and I think that that itself is another one of these buildings that I'm in right now. And I'm thinking I can get a few more of these uh, wooden storage crates if I go over there and nab that. Um, so what I'm going to do is try and sort out what I can of my inventory. And then I'm going to try and uh, repair my tools and then head out to go and see what else I can find at that neighboring village. All right, so I'm back. I've sorted a bunch of stuff. I captured a bee in one of the bee cages that I found, which they're sturdy bee cages, not the not the normal ones, I guess. Um, I've got several of these crates now. I'm keeping one of them empty just so I can bring it around with me. But uh, this is basically going to be my entire inventory. Um, I'm getting to the point where I'm not likely to be able to transport everything with these wooden storage crates. But if I look them up, a uh, regular wooden storage crate recipe is just a bunch of treated wood planks. Guess what the roof is made out of. So I can make a whole bunch more of them if I need to when I'm ready to move. So uh, as I'm not ready to move yet and there's no real sorting going on, I'm kind of thinking uh, w uh, that I'll, I'll stick around here a little bit longer um, until I can get more materials and we'll continue going through the uh, the quests at the beginning. As I've done the this one here and I, I did grab a bed. Uh, I can grab these. These are physical rewards, one of which is a hot chocolate with marshmallows, which I'm a fond of this. This is this is good. We'll put the, the black dye in there. Um, and that continues on to a bunch of other stuff. There's a chute. We'll automatically drop items directly below it, which that's just wooden sticks. I could do that. One, two, three, four, and a bunch of sticks. And this is the wrong kind of crafting table. I need to make another crafting table. Actually, I can do that right now. And then I can grab a few more of these for that shoot. And then I don't need to worry about it so much. There we go. And now I've got uh, kind of like a little setup going on here. Uh, yeah, the, the ground is, is sand. Like I said, temporary building until I figure out where I want to stay. Oh, and while I think of it, I have a bunch of rotten flesh. You also notice I, by the way, got a horse. I found some horse armor, so I put it on there. Um... It's been rather nice to be able to move much quicker, but you notice that I have a little campfire. Let's put a bunch of these uh, rotten flesh on here, because I found out that on a campfire, they turn into leather, which is great, because I could probably use some leather. Oh, wow, that didn't take much time at all. Let's put the rest of it on there, because uh, I don't think I really need the uh, that as much as I need the leather. 
I also got an iron chest plate, which is nice. Uh, this is definitely going to increase my endurance, combat, and smithing XP a bit as well. So, uh, now that I've got this, let's see if I can make this shoot. Wait, what was that? Decorative blocks. Nice. There's a lot of decorative stuff in here. I look forward to doing a lot of builds and whatnot. But there we go. I now have a chute, which I can put in here. I'll put the leather in there for now, too. Um, and I'll put the sticks back in here. So what is next on the list? Oh, got some honey. That's actually good. Uh, I might need that for some apiary, which if you're not familiar with that, that means bees. <laughs> Talking about bees. Uh, I keep bees uh in real life so this is something i'm looking forward to a clay tool in order to create pottery you'll need blocks of clay and a clay tool which is crafted from some sticks simply right click the clay block with the clay tool and it will become worked clay interesting okay keep right clicking and the shape will change becoming smaller and smaller over time when you've created the shape of the object you want simply break it with a shovel and then fire it by placing it in either a furnace or a campfire the clay tool is also required in order to create bricks. Simply craft the clay tool with either a clay block or clay ball, and you'll receive unfired bricks. These can be fired in either a campfire or a furnace to receive vanilla bricks. Oh, okay. The vanilla crafting recipe for the flower pot has been removed. Instead, it must be created using the above pottery mechanics. Its functionality is unchanged. Okay. Well, I, I think I might have actually grabbed a pot somewhere in all that mess but let's let's try this here um what is this a clay tool three sticks and a smooth stone slab oh. which i can get from stone cutting and whatnot but i think i also need to be able to smelt some stuff up can i actually put this on no <laughs> it was worth trying. You never know. There's a bunch of recipes been changed, and I can't seem to get in there to get this item now. All right, well, let me grab a few more of these, and we can smelt these up and actually make ourselves something. I'm sure I've got some fuel around here. There we go, a single piece of charcoal. So I'm going to make eight pieces worth. Put that in there. Do I have any more charcoal? I've got oh coal coke. I'm not going to throw that away. Um, I don't think I do. I've got one piece of coal. That works. I have yet to go mining because <laughs> my tools are actually subpar. I did find an iron pick and an iron sword and such, but uh, yeah, I did not find the ones that I was looking for. Um, these, can I use them? Not the bench saw. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to need to replace this and take that out and at least get one of them. <laughs> I'm going to need to use the other piece of coal just for these ones. Great. <laughs> I didn't think this one through very well. There we go. And now I should be able to make a slab that I need. Grab some sticks. And I can make that chisel that there is. There we go. A clay tool, rather, is what I'm looking for. Put the sticks away. Sticks are really important in this pack, <laughs> I'm finding. Um, but if I craft these with this... It makes clay bricks, which I'm sure I'll, I'll use them. Actually, I have 11 left. Can I grab 11 clay? Let's do this. And then I can just use up the rest of the durability on this tool. Perfect. And then I can smelt them on here, right? At least that's what I was led to believe. Nice. Or I can put them in here and cook them up that way. Clay brick. Whoa, you can roll them out into raw clay plates. You can cook them, and you can kiln them. Okay, that's curious. So let's take a look at the next steps, because I have a feeling... There we go, I got this. Uh, we're going to need some of the... Oh, look, there's raw clay plates. But 32 bricks? I don't think I have that many, but I just need one raw clay plate. So use for this, I need a roller, which is some kind of log and two sticks not a problem grab this and one log okay so i'm making a rolling pin right now i wonder if you can use this thing in combat <laughs> put this and that and i make one raw clay plate um it looks like i have there we go some bricks over here i got four i could probably do a bunch more let's continue on making uh 
a bunch of these bricks while we're continuing on with some of the quests. Got that. I will grab the food, which is good. I can put this in that berry sorbet. Oh, there's a creeper out there. Now that I'm looking at the minimap, interesting. Not that I really care about it though, because it shouldn't blow up there. Fired clay plate is not highlighted. It doesn't seem like it's something I can do. Fired clay plate. I guess I just need to cook it. Because I don't think that there's much else I can do. Oh, in a kiln. Oh. Does it work in a furnace? I mean, I can put it in there. Let me grab some of these sticks that I've got. Actually, I'll grab some of the spruce planks. Yeah, does not work. Okay. Well, those are going to be fuel for now. But I need to make a kiln, I guess? Where is the kiln on this? Oh, so I'm supposed to go down here and then over... What is it to make a kiln? Four brick blocks. Ha ha ha. Well, I've got two right now. I know where I can find some more, though. <laughs> Outside. And actually, that was a bad choice because now I've got the back wall exposed. So I think what I'm going to do is put a foundation back down of those smooth stones that I didn't really need that many of. There we go. Actually, it looks a little bit better, I think. <laughs> but let's see. We need a kiln for those around furnace. Did I grab a bunch? I did grab a bunch. Look at, look at me being smart about grabbing extra furnaces. There we go. One kiln and it's good. I should probably put it on top of that furnace. Can I break it with a pick? Yes. Let's put it right here. It's a little bit more appropriate. Put it in there and I can take the planks and put them in for fuel to, to cook that up. Hopefully I don't need more too many. Uh, kiln to get that reward, which... Oh, I still need 32 bricks. Okay, well then, let, let me grab these and put them in here. And I'll cook up a bunch of those while I also cook some up on there. And hopefully I'll get that 32 that I need. <laughs> that I'm supposed to officially get rather than jumping ahead like I have been. I did get the smoker, which gets me a kebab. Which uh, is going to be your best friend to make sure that you don't starve before you can build a factory. We'll cook food twice as fast as the standard furnace. Which is good, because the furnace mostly is used for cooking recipes right now. But I can't progress to the kiln. Wait, clinker brick block? Clinker brick blocks? What are stained... What are... They're brick surrounded bricks? Oh, okay, they're for decoration blocks. Interesting. I don't think I'm too bothered about that. That that dead ends right now. Um, and I did just get a bunch of stuff here. Let's keep going with the those. That, that wood did not last very long. I have to be honest, I'm rather disappointed. I've got some spruce stairs I don't really care about. I'm actually cleaning house right now. I'm like going through the stuff that I really don't need in here. <laughs> spruce logs is something that doesn't really stack with much and I don't have any saplings. Uh, four of them is not going to do much for me. So I, it's probably going to be next for me to burn. Uh, but until then, let's use some of the planks. The furnace won't even make charcoal. Okie dokie. I have to use a coke oven to make charcoal at all. Oh my gosh. That's a big game changer. Okay. That that makes a big difference. Let's put in a bit more wood and see about making up some more bricks. And there we go. I now have 32 bricks. I'm going to get a cake. I'll take that. Put it down next to my bed for now because I'm probably going to end up needing it. Um, so what else is there to progress with here once I have the kiln? Actually, I used the kiln to make the kiln. That's kind of funny. Uh, tell me I don't need to make another one. Oh, shoot. That Oh, that just dropped the interior. Okay. I was really worried. I forgot that I had bricks in it. Okay. So that gets that one. I get 12 more bricks from it. So that's awesome. And now I can do fired brick plates, which I've got one of those. And that completes that one. And I get some, some food. And then we're on to the blast furnace, which I think I've got one in one of these crates here. There it is. Nice. Okay. See, I'm, I'm progressing by thievery. 
<laughs> stealing the villagers' goods. And then we go into iron ingots because I can't make iron until I have a blast furnace unlocked. Nice. Okay, and then there's great wealth. Okay, what I'm thinking... Oh, wait, three gold blocks? I feel like I should start collecting up some wealth to use in future travel and trade. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that's uh, nether access. In order to get back, you need gold blocks. That's going to be really important. Iron ingots, you can smelt iron ore in the blast furnace. All right, I've decided that I'm going to keep the stone pickaxe hoe and my stone axe in reserve, and I'm going to start using the iron pickaxe and sword for now. Uh, I also have some food, but for some reason I have four clay balls in my offhand. What I'm going to do is uh, I saw just down here there was a mine shaft. And what I think I'm going to do, I also see a snake. Hello, snakey. Go away. Oh, I got it. One shot. Nice. Okay. Was not ex expecting that. What's this used for? Making a maraca? <laughs> you can brew it to make potion of poison resistance. Interesting. Don't think I wanted to clutter my inventory at the moment, though. But I did see that there was an opening over here. And I'm kind of, or not this one. I saw a different one. There was two right next to each other. Was it this one? I think this is the one here. It's uh, still within the village, which is normal for Minecraft villages for some reason. The, there's always some like group of mobs or uh, some kind of massive cavern underneath, usually cutting through several buildings and whatnot. But what I'm going to do here is uh, some mining. So I hope you don't mind, but uh, I'm probably going to cut away and we're going to end the episode and I will be back once I've got a bunch of materials. If anything uh, of interest happens, I'll probably uh, start it off at the next episode. And uh, I think that'll be good for uh, a good stopping point for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to drink some hot cocoa. Or in my case, eat the cup too. And uh, don't be afraid to stop by on Twitch. Come give us a follow there. And uh, don't be afraid to spread the mischief. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.